Well, I got locked out. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to be here right at right around time, right? Oh, so they're they're uh, so I think it's a new security guard. Okay. So he's not. I don't, I don't think he understands the protocol. A lot of people are coming in late. He's locking the gates right now. So. Oh, okay. So. so we'll tell him we can give us a you know 15 minute window or something. Okay. Go for it. I want to thank Tom for keeping us alive for this pandemic with all this uh, filming and all going around. And, yeah. And, yeah. 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 This Christmas in July. And, yeah, Christmas in July at Tom's yeah. house. That was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. We had a great time. I got to go over uh, Monday and help finish up some of the food and just go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, I think that was it, right? And any? You... Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna start over. Christopher, come on out here, please. So this is Christopher Alberto from Puerto Rico. Hi, hi. Okay, and I'm going to turn it over to him so I don't bore you guys, okay? Thank you very much, Christopher. Thank you. And I want to thank Doyle for the taxi. For, where, where's, where's Doyle? I, I don't know. Oh, he left? No, oh. he's, he's still he's being locked out right oh, now. Oh, he's, oh. he's at Uber service tonight. So I want to thank Doyle for bringing him. Bob broke his leg, so he's going to... He's gonna... Hard getting around. So yeah. Thank you, Christopher. No. Thank you all guys for being here. So... Um, this is my first trip since COVID uh, starts, so I'm glad to be uh, soil microorganisms to uh, study the interaction of nutrients and uh, symbiosis between plants and microorganisms. So yeah, it, is, it has been a, a, a good journey to study and, and know what is happening inside the plants. So bonsai have been like a a model to, to study the science inside plants. So I'm glad to, to, to have plants and to have uh, bonsai art to, to share knowledge and to share this art that is a, a wonderful one. So I will start by the... By yeah, you've, been, you've been doing bonsai since you're 13? Yeah. So you've you only been doing bonsai for like five years? Uh, <laughs> So for 11 years. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So that's something that I have been like it since I was a kid. So I'm glad to be here and, and sharing with you guys. And I hope to 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 enjoy this as you get. Let's do it. Okay. Como puedes ver, los niveles de verde que puedo mantener actualmente. Uh, lo que he practicado obviamente es mantenerlo vivo. Lo que en batallo es en diseño es esta parte para agarrar el siguiente apex. Okay. El libro, obviamente de aquí voy a agarrar ese un líder para el primer uh, primera, primera rama. Primera rama. Si en cambio aquí está medio feo o no sé si puedo usar este con más característica, con más carácter y quitar esta rama directa. Sí. Pero no le no le he metido mano por lo mismo que es cuando tomar la decisión. Ya. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Oh. So, I'm bilingual. Yeah, yeah. So, oh. of course, I'm at the point where I've been growing this in shallow dirt now. I can keep it healthy to this level. My concern is, of course, now, for the sake of design, of course, at some point, this is very straight. I guess it's got to go. Yeah. But this is also not so appealing because of that, basically, that, that knuckle there. Yeah. So, at what point should I start looking for either a new leader or where should I pick my next apex? So, from here? the first part is what is your front? What is the, the front? Mm -hmm. Of, of the tree. Do you pick this one? Which is the angle that you would like more? I of the prefer tree? this side because it shows more of the dead wood. Okay. As of course, when it's dry, it brings up more of the characteristics yeah. of the wood itself, and show more of the age of it. Yeah. As well, so that definitely makes this very jarring as a straight, yeah. straight line. So I think that has to go. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and you have all the reasons. So. In this part, you can see this mm -hmm. characteristic of the dead wood, and that helped in the design because mm -hmm. make uh, the the tree more uh, appealing. Yeah. So definitely, I will cut this branch because it's so it's so straight. Mm -hmm. So this branch over there gives more characteristic, and also mm -hmm. it's going in the for, forward. So. so I think I have something growing in here. Should I get to here or all the way to the bottom? Yeah. First, you can cut it like over right. here. Yeah. In case we need this branch, in case it's necessary we 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 use it. Mm -hmm. 
So bungaviglias are very have a very weak uh, dead wood. Yeah, so nice. I actually tried putting some uh, what do you call it um, epoxy or resin on here okay. uh, to keep it going. But it's so I will start by cleaning the the dead wood. So you can uh, pass a brush, a toothbrush, or anything that you can remove all these uh, black thing and fungus possible. Mm -hmm. So also, you will need to start cleaning all the these uh, these little branches mm -hmm. on the whole branch and clean all the the main branch. Would you suggest a toothbrush or a wire brush or brass wire? Brush? Uh, we can uh, can be both. Can be both. You can put uh, pass a uh, mm -hmm. uh, what? Cualquier uh, adopto. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Yeah. So. That will be the first thing that I will do to the dead wood, mm -hmm. and then apply certain type of, of preserver with preserver, and then uh, I will uh, result the life vein from the dead wood. So make that line clear, yeah. Mm -hmm. So clean all the the, the primary branch, like removing this. Uh, right here, right? This will be yeah. my primary branch. Yeah, yeah. This will be your primary branch, and you can start by removing all the dead things or and uh, branches that are dead okay. and one time that you got all the branches clean mm -hmm. you can start whiting the first branches mm -hmm. to get the first style of, yeah. of the tree so if this is the front i will i will remove this branch because it's in the front it blocks. yeah so i also try to leave the tree in uh, you promote a, a shoot, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can start cleaning all that mm -hmm. and wiring all the uh, primary and secondary branch to start uh, designing the tree. So this will be the front. Mm -hmm. This will be your apex. You can wire everything you have here. Branches for this side, half back branches here. And then we can start styling the tree. This one and this one, I will remove it. Okay. So it's yeah. in you if you want to no, remove it. Okay. So. All right, I'll start with that then. Yeah, if you have any questions, tell me. I'll come Feel I'll free. later on and follow up with you. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Where is it? Come in. Oh, Wait, yeah. Pick? We can so. pick one. Oh, OK. One, otherwise it's, you know. <laughs> if there's so. time, we'll come back around. Which one do you want to start? Let me start with this one because okay. it's got the least happening. Okay. But, um, here, let me just do this. Yeah. I've already loosened it. So it's not good this way because it has, it has, basically it's just a fan. It's a yeah. Fan, right? Yeah. But, you have these three. Right. Yeah. But somewhere in there. <laughs> So, I mean, I've been cutting it back. I like okay. Because I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't take them off yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But you know, there's several lines. Like this one is an interesting line, right? Yeah. But I guess it's a like this right here is an odd thing. Yeah. And I don't know. I, this is the only one I have. I've never worked on any other one. Yeah. And so far, it seems like like this cut back here yeah. feels quite well, at least where I'm at. So I'm not too concerned about okay, healing over. So yeah, you have uh, many options here. So you basically have three lines to to follow. Right. So this line that you mentioned is good. Will be a good because it gave movement. But also, if you remove this one and this one, these two, mm -hmm. and you live with this one you will have a better, it's better taper. yeah a better better taper oh, I see what you mean. yeah you get rid of this yeah, you yeah. have this nice line all the way up yeah. to here yeah yeah ah. and also you can Knock cut cut this and cut this and you this part here you can do like a little chatty or gin to remove this uh oh that bolt yeah oh, so you, you can, can come a little bit. yeah a little bit that is that wood is not too good because it's very weak Right. Like, but in this case, you can do it. Hmm. Carve it inside to 
try to yeah and but take, take this off yeah yeah take basically take that take that, that yeah, and take that take and this back here yep and this whole thing out here yeah okay. and you will have a, a better tapering and then will promote the the branches grow so you can start then designing another half you can still uh, doing that first design so, so they, it'll push i mean it'll push out a lot i mean now where you're from i'm assuming you probably get heavier growth because yeah more humidity yeah. Yeah. longer summer like yeah. deep in the fall. over there it's almost all the year Really? So, so, it'll you know, keep going. so we work um, almost all the year. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. So you actually run through yeah. summer. Yeah. I mean, as long as it isn't yeah. crazy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Huh. But yeah. Option in case. Just because of the taper. Yeah. 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 There's no lack of roots. The, yeah. <laughs> the bar is yeah, it's very good. It's insane. It is a little bit heavy. Yeah. But I can cut that in half. And then, in a future transplant, you can move this root from here and put it like here. And are they pretty flexible? Uh, uh, wire. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. And slowly move it. Not 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 is it's not necessary to move it in the first. time. Like you can put a wire and start wire, yeah. And eventually, about it here. But yeah. In terms of a good tapering with it's what like is there, line. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it does have a weird kink if I got rid yeah. of it. Yeah. You're right. You're right. All right. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, Michael. You're up, Michael. Yeah. Michael Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael, Michael. <laughs> Sim, Simbolin or? Sambolin. Sambolin. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is uh, my uh, ficus that's a project. Yeah. It was all ugly, so I cut everything down. And here, this root went under, so I've been taking taking this out. Okay. I'm going to go with these roots here to the front. And in the back, I had this root coming across here. So, okay, so you remove it. So today I took a little bit more of these. Yeah. And this I'm going to, I don't like, so I'm going to have to do something about taking the top off. There. Yeah. It's in the back, but it's huge. Yeah. And then this I don't like, I'll be taking this off. Yeah. And basically the front, your front is this one. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, was, I left this just in case it would help to fill this hole, but I don't know if it will. Yeah, eventually, yeah. So yeah. I should leave it or take it off? So, in this case, you, you can try that this start to, to yeah, to well, close. I can, I can cut it and... Uh, yeah, is to activate the the Cambium? Yeah. yeah so by yeah by scraping yeah. yeah so that will help to to heal that part mm -hmm. so in this case I will remove this one because it's creating you here uh, I was thinking the same yeah thing. so I will remove it so yeah because it, it can create uh, another yeah, bulb yeah another place to heal yeah so then these are going to come and grind down yeah. Oh, yeah, and the same as here will help you to, you to find see the candy, Yeah, first. yeah. So, in terms of, of piling the tree, it's look like it's three trees there. Mm -hmm. So, you need to, to define what will be the branches that you will be using. Exactly. So, I'm a little worried about wire now because it's going to grow so fast. Yeah. It's going to make it to the mark. Yeah. But if I make it nice, easy, not too tight wire? You, yeah, you can do it in that case. So it's important here with this type of ficus that uh, you select the branches that you want to use now or in the future. Because if you left 
so many branches, yeah. you're going from one sure, side. Get a big yeah. Swelling. yeah. So I'd so, probably leave this one because this one's going to the inside. Yeah. So the first thing that I will do will be selecting the branches that I will use for the design of the tree. And then I will, if it's needed and it can be possible to work higher of the tree, you can do it. So we'll be removing these, removing all the branches, uh, selecting will be what will be the apex in each trunk. A single apex is like, I see the trunk, the, the whole canopy like this. Ah, okay, yeah. But I, I'm, I'm one looking for, you know, this and this and this. Yeah, and yeah. This. You're yeah, looking for, for creating a canopy at this. A little this. higher, yeah. because of the size of the branch. Of the, yeah. So anything coming inside... You will remove it, yeah. yeah. I did a lot of work before it came, so we wouldn't just be talking about it. Yeah. So like down here, I could leave this or I could leave this. Yeah. In this case, you can select which one. Mm -hmm. You can... Uh, I will be... Uh, if I uh, will pick one, I will pick this one because, so, yeah. Yeah, because it has a nice transition. Yeah, yeah, it has a nice transition. So from here you can start. Yeah, but it's a good tree. It's a good tree. It's a good project. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to grow like him. Yeah, yeah. I'll get into a smaller pot. A smaller pot, yeah. So yeah, you can start doing, removing the branches that you are sure that you are gonna not use in the design. Well, we know that if I leave this, it's gonna grow like crazy, but yeah. if I leave this, then it, some will come up from it. Yeah. You probably need something in here for the very top. Yep. Yep. So, yep. And he has he has branches in all part of the of the trunk. Yeah, so that's pretty lucky so that yeah, so that's very good. So. so how do you shape it? You go broom style? No, it's just big canopy. Big canopy. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get eventually the branches out. Yeah. Because look at the big trunk. Yeah. So I will start by removing this yeah, and start to. Yeah, it's a fun project. Yeah. And fi ficus, oh my god, yeah. it's so easy. Ficus, you can develop a good structure in a few times, like a, in a short time, period of time. Have you seen the book by the Chung from Taiwan? The one, he does the ficus and he carves them. When you come to my house, I'll show you the Yeah, book. yeah. It's really amazing. Book. Yeah. But yeah. De nada, de nada. You're welcome. So if you have any doubt, let me know. Doubts? We don't need no stinking doubts. <laughs> well, this yeah. this is this is a pork jade. Yeah. Okay. And and I uh, got it from from this guy, you know. Who's, you know, he specialized in this. His name is Frank. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I bought this when when I was small. And and it's been a while, but I've been grown, grown it, you know. But yeah, twenty years almost. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So and it's very easy. It's very easy to trim and all that. So this one here, and you know, I need to trim it a little bit. You know, all, all this right here is high and all that. Okay. It's gonna have this this shape. Okay. Yeah. So you would like to keep it that way? Yeah, this is the front. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So yeah. In, yeah. Yeah, in, I gotta take all this off. Yeah. All this. Take all this yeah. off. And all the branches in between right here. Yeah. You know, just just to open it up. Yeah, you can also open it a little bit by uh, lowering some branches like this one. Yeah, correct. Yeah. You can bring this yeah. like here and pruning. Yeah. Yeah. And some then, some of these I want to bring more to the front. 
Yeah. See? So you can bring that one over there. Yeah, correct. You can bring, bring a little bit this one. Yeah. This, this one, one you can lower it a little bit. Yeah. Also, this one you can bring it front a little bit. Yeah, open up like that. Yeah. Bring it out. And also this one. Yeah. So if you uh, uh, put these branches in a little bit for the front and lower a little bit, you will give the tree more character. Yeah. So I yeah. will do that. I will like continue pruning uh -huh. in that way that you have been doing yeah. Yeah. to complete his density. It's a good tree. It's almost there. Like, yeah. right. With some details like moving those branches yeah. a little bit down and forward, you will create a more, uh, give more car character to, yeah. the, to the tree. So yeah, right. I will remove all the all these clean yeah, all, all clean all the all branches up, yeah. and then you can prune the apex mm -hmm. and start uh, wiring some branches the ones that we want to move. Yeah. So with those uh, adjustment in the tree, you will see the difference yeah. in the character. And also, since the bark is uh, very rough. Uh, it will be a, a nice, uh, nice, thing, yeah. nice yeah. yeah. Thank you. So, any question? No. Perfect. So, you can start by cleaning all the branches. Cleaning all that up. And if you have wire, you can start wiring. Yeah. And we are going to move a little bit the, yeah. the branches. Correct. So, Okay, buddy. Thank you. Perfecto, perfecto. Okay. I need to show him. And uh, oh. when I got this, he was sitting on a big rock, a little over rock. Okay. And it's so heavy. Okay. So what I did, I. Just got my chop so with diamond blades and stuff like that. Okay. You know, so it grew before we ate everything. Gracias. My, my, Thank you. My question is, although right now it's like probably five inches. Okay. I know I I want to grow more, but is it advisable to grow another pad? Or yeah. so. You have so many ramifications in both uh, yeah. parts, in both uh, paths. So you can clean certain branches and you can divide this into more paths. Also, if you clean uh, a little bit and select uh, the branches that you will leave in the design, you, will, you can uh, let the tree go a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. So it will create a more uh, characteristic in his design. Mm -hmm. So if you let the tree grow a little bit more with some branches that you select, and you open spaces in this to, and then it would, it would create yeah, like you can create like several that. paths by cleaning the branches, mm -hmm. and you can give her more character. So yes, you can do another path. Yeah. So for that, you will eventually need to defoliate and a lot, a yeah, of, yeah, yeah, quit all the leaves. So you can see which branches mm -hmm. you will leave and which branches you will remove. Because when, when I chopped it, it just explodes. Yeah. Well, uh, that's it. Three. <coughs> But yeah, you have a good distribution of primary branches mm -hmm. that, yeah, you can... See, like this one, you see how this one has one... Big yeah, one. you can divide uh -huh. that into two. You can even... Yeah, if you, if you do exactly that, you, mm -hmm. you clean all the bottom part of the uh, branches, you can start the difference and the transition between paths. Mm -hmm. So you can also divide this 
and you can move either this one or this one a little bit uh, one for the front mm -hmm. so there's no one is above yeah. the other one so you can do this they're, they're all movable yeah and then, and then so, so they have, you know, yeah so you can start doing that moving branches distributing around the the tree and then you can start by uh, then cutting a little bit the, the higher branch so you can give that sensation of, of yeah. space and distance between the branches so if you do those adjustments like this one you can lower this one and if you move all the branches that are going up if you just do this you will see the difference mm -hmm. so you can if they have wire you can move it and then start to position it mm -hmm. so that way it will have more pads yeah. yeah and that way the sunlight can enter better in the mm -hmm. in the branches so it's a good tree a good size a good show here mm -hmm. so if you do do those uh, kind of uh, uh, transition and, and and branch movement and cleaning of the branches yeah, actually you will the, have the transition uh, is probably easy because i have all the branches as you can see they're all wired movable. yeah and maybe put in a plastic pot yeah that can also help yeah, you that so way, you know and, uh, and well yeah they they go very very fast you know and and, and the more you defoliate it, the smaller. Yeah. It's all about timing. And, uh, yeah, but what I will do with the tree is the things that I told you. So um, you can put it in a plastic bag and with tensile uh, mm -hmm. uh, lower the branch. Or wood, so that way you can yeah. you know, put a holes and then you just... Yeah. Uh, uh, but it's a, it, it's a good tree that has a lot, a lot, a lot of potential. When, when, I, when I got this, it was all about the base. The base, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and uh, because he, he yeah. didn't want it, because he had it for like three years and, and it wasn't moving. Peter. Yeah. Which one is you found? At first there was a knee here, okay, and I shaved it off, and, uh, and maybe because this one here, it's more, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this this part here has a nice base, base. wider, and with moving the branches from to the front mm -hmm. and dividing, and also moving branches from here down, you can uh, create some spaces between branches, mm -hmm. and from this. Better, you will have a better design, yeah, and the tree will have a, a more pretty, character. If you move this a little bit here, this way. Yeah. Yeah, you can move this one a little bit mm -hmm. here. You, this one you can move it a little bit. Not necessarily this one need to be in the front, mm -hmm. like it's, the primary yeah. uh, branch. It's That's something part. that some are some rules, but. In this case, you can you can work with what the tree have. So in this case, moving in this position, if this is your front, you can move this one a little bit here. Yeah. This one you can move it a little bit. That uh, finishing this position almost uh -huh. like this one more here, this one more here, and then if you start dividing the. Uh, an apex and then here. Just sleep all the ones. Yeah. All, the, all, like, all, all of these. Can yeah. Do. You can. Uh, yeah. And then the apex, you can uh, leave it by pruning. First, the branches that you will leave as the apex. 
So the apex you then start only to pruning. But yeah. And sometimes also, you know, with, with my collection, it's like, should I put time on this one? Should I go? With this? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. This is soft. And yeah. I need to commute, and I don't know what to do. So. Should I do anything? So, the wood of this kind of tree is very weak. So. I will say that if you got, you have uh, uh, tools for for dead wood for working on that wood, you can start by cutting that is weak oh, okay. because eventually you can have uh, fungus problems in the plants. So uh, you can carve with hand tools or power tools all until you get to a solid part. One you get. Once you get to a solid part, you can apply a certain uh, wood petrifier or wood oh, preserver okay. and apply that like uh, once a month. To once a month? Yeah, to preserve the, the wood since oh, okay. the humidity uh, is a problem with the trees, with these trees, because if you leave it like any treatment, the wood will still get in away and getting soft and weak. And eventually you will have the, the tree divide, like with a hole or something inside. So, so it will deteriorate away? Yeah. Oh, okay. So in order to preserve the wood, what we do in, in my garden and in other trees is to give it like a monthly treatment in the wood by applying certain uh, wood preserver. You put a wood sealer? Uh, we use a, a treatment that is for the wood of the boats. Oh yeah, oh, marine really? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do that in Bungavilia to preserve the wood science. The wood of this one is very uh, vulnerable to to fungus and to get weak and weaker and weaker. So this problem with the wood, I will uh, carve it until I get to a solid part and then if I find certain product like the one that he told, you can apply it. What he's saying is if she doesn't treat it, it's going to deteriorate. And all the way right in, right. right so what do you treat it with? Marine varnish. Yeah. What? Marine varnish, he said. That's what Something he that'll stand up to the, wet, to the water. Yeah. Every, every month. Every yeah, we do it like that. How long? Forever? No, not forever. Until you see that the 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 wood get uh, strong, like you don't see this in the. So what so. about you know that um, you know that green uh, cut paste from yeah. Japan? That stuff actually hardens. It's like almost like a plasticizer. Is that yeah, uh, I have not tried that. Okay. But I told I told you what I uh, what I use uh, what gave me results. So that and uh, see if they if that result. I mean, any kind of a wood sealer, I would think. Yeah. Is the, the marine varnish? What, what is the vehicle in that? Is it? It's like, time? yeah. Okay on the tree. So what? I, that I put a towel. Yeah. So. Okay. To protect it. Yeah, to protect the soil. Only putting it on the dead. In the dead wood, yeah. Okay. And then. Uh, kind of like sulfate. I remove, yeah, I remove the the towel and and water the tree normally. So. Once so. A month. Yeah, once a month un, un, until until that will depend on the on the tree. So it can be the first time in one month and two months. So if the the wood is very weak, very weak, I will say that six months like that. So surely, do you have anything to dig with? How about this? Yeah, you can start by uh, yeah. Carve, carve in there till you see yeah. where it should stop. <laughs> so. That's <laughs> way. Yeah. 
up the soil, we carve the carbs back to, get to just before it gets to live the vegetable, and then he paints it with the and then he follows up every month until it starts to heal. And then he can quit. Oh, oh, oh. I'd be still. Oh, oh, oh. I did bought for my. Uh, oh, oh, oh. What else you got in your bag so also here, if you this is very weak. So I start to carving all. Eventually, this part, all this part is dead. So all this will be like a hole. Yeah. So. That's why you need to apply a, a, a treatment in the wood in this kind of tree because you can have a healthy trunk. But if in a small part start to 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 appear like that, eventually all the the dead wood that is inside the the veins of the plant will start to doing like that. So eventually, if you left like that, you will have you will have center part of the of the tree because give certain character to the tree and also if your preference so but in case that you want to preserve the whole trunk you need to apply that treatment in order to to don't get that hole and that kind of stuff but for sure if if I start carving this part will be removed into like here because this is so weak. So if I remove this part, it will be a hole like from here to there. Look at Going to have lots of character, Shirley. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mitch, can you see everything still? Wow. So, yeah. Look at all those weeds and everything coming through. Yeah. So that's why we Bungavilia. Uh, we monthly do a dead wood treatment, like pass a brush, pass a uh, varnish if, if necessary, if not lime sulfur. And then we, we, we keep up with those uh, treatments with this kind of tree. For example, if we got a bottom wood, we do that treatment once every four months, something like that. But since this dead wood is very weak, we need to start to, to be there uh, working on the dead wood. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to take a break and then we'll start up again. So yeah. Help yourself to cookies. Let's take a 15 minute break and uh, let's eat up some of that stuff that Gus brought and everybody so. else. <laughs> Serious. Let's get back in the. Uh, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. When you cut, like, okay, for instance, up here on the top. Yeah, yeah, you want to see up here. What moment? Okay. See this, 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 they cut this off. Yeah. So you could take that all the way off and just use this for the top, right? Yeah. But then what would you do to treat this to keep it from rotting? So in this case, for sure, uh, if, if you cut this, yeah. you will eventually see that will be a hole right over there. there right? So in that case, I will remove all. Remove like, it. I will remove all this part until I get to the life vein. Right. So once I get to the life vein, I treated that wood that same left. Way. Yeah, same way. Because if you do re remove all this part and all this weak dead wood and don't treat it when you got to the life vein, eventually uh, the same way as this one. Yeah. 
because the live vein are gonna be exposed to the um, environmental condition and the humidity especially will start to weak the, that part of the live vein. So eventually if you don't treat that part when you remove all the weak dead wood, will be getting the same result if you don't treat it. If you go until you see that that part gets stronger, you will see that the weak wood will disappear if you treat it uh, every time that is needed. So would it be better to just leave that on there right now or is that going to rot <laughs> if you don't take care of it? So the tree is, isn't going to die if you leave that there. It like, no, it won't. But aesthetically, you will see that it doesn't seem well. So if, uh, if the tree were mine, I will remove all the dead wood, all the wood wood that the tree has and then depending on what is left uh, I will if I need to uh, position a new branch in one side to to cover, it up. To cover certain uh, uh, position that so I will move a branch to, to to so over there I can do hard work in all year, like, but I do hard work through like uh, February, March, April, those are harder in my trees, like over there. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's mostly like here now, like this is like the typical weather over there. I will work uh, drastically. In, if you need it to do it in November, you can do it over there. Okay. But yeah, here, depending on the itinerary and the calendar that you have, the times of the year to work harder. So I will do that work in that time specifically. So the, hair, the, the, the tree doesn't get hurt. But yeah. I, it sounds to me if this is like. If our weather now is like his no, November, December, January, or February, then yeah, I would say now. Yeah. As long as you take it all the way back to live wood and, and treat it, yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's the, like the, the trick with this week that if you treat it, that, that would like a juniper or like a bottom wood, the wood will be still uh, getting weaker. So, for example, for for bottom wood, we don't use varnish, uh, anything like that. But for this type of trees that produce a weak dead wood, I apply those products. So I have seen that you have uh, you have been pruning in a good way because you have a good flowering. So in terms of design, in terms of design, I see the tree very very good. I will always uh, clean the branches inside and in the base of the branches. So in that way you you got more sunlight and get a better development of the branches. But further than that, How much can you bend these? So if he, okay, so when I when I'm gonna work with a tree like this one, I leave it with a two or three days before. Yeah. Because if I watered the tree, the day I'm gonna work on it, when I water, they're gonna break. Like, I try, they are very dry. The soil and, and there's no, too much water intake in the branches. If you water, you will have uh, 
more fluid of water in the branches and the branches will break easily. So I recommend one or two days before working on the tree, put it on shade and don't water the tree until you work it. Let it dry out. Yeah. Get weak. Yeah. So, so she asked some styling questions. Yeah. So. Which one is your front? The front right in here. Okay. So, yeah, let me, let me, let me, <clears throat> yeah. so let, this is the front that you, you have, right? Also, yeah. Case, he likes this. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. In this case, you can in this angle, you can see both trunk. So if you define this part a little bit more, like this is a single tree and this is another tree, will look very good. So what I, uh, was the front the front of the tree? I will start. Uh, by cleaning the redwood to see if it looks good. And then we define this part to work it as a single tree and a tree apart. So in order to do that, you will need to, to follow a line. So eventually you will need to remove uh, some branches like this one that are stronger and getting all the food over there. So I will define this. I, I like this line, like going from here and using this as uh, the main line of this part of the tree. I can also leave this one to give some uh, spaces. I will cut here because it's so stronger. And, and it's taking away all the nutrients in, of this part. So, you see this part, your eyes got there if you see it. Like, so if you choose this line, you can work here, and then you can separate a little bit, create a space between this and this. So it will look like this is a single tree, and then you can create this space here, and uh, you can lower certain branches, and then uh, continue the design of this part. I like this part too much. Maybe wiring and uh, positioning some branches to get better, but in this case, being this the front, I will use this one, create a space, wire some branches here, cleaning this line of the trunk in order to, to get a, a, a better design. That will be my advice. Okay, yeah. You can cut it by like here. You can move it. Perfect. So by cutting there, you see that you uh, now you have more spaces in this part. So the other thing that I will do is to start cleaning all the main branches, cleaning all this part, so you can see a clarified branch ramification and put all these uh, these branches. So you can with the with this tool, you can uh, remove all this part to to start cleaning this line. And then, if you have wire, 
you can wire certain branch like this one to accommodate and position it. Also, you can wire certain branches in order to lower it down. If not, we can use a, a wire and put it down. So in this case of this part, I will clean it all the part, like removing all these things, all the dead thing inside that. And then we try to create a space between this part and this part to have like two separate trees. What? You still collect black olives? So over there, there's no black olive. No. So. There's some water over there. There's soil over there. Perfect. Good soil for tropical plants. So, over there, depending on the side of the island that you are, in my case, if you are in a part that is very dry, we try to do a, a soil mix that uh, can retain uh, very much humidity in there. In other ways, if you are in a part uh, very rainy, uh, zone so you will have uh, you will want to have a, a soil that drain all the water rapidly so basically in where I am I use uh, like 70% of uh, lava rock and can can be also pumice or a river rocks uh, little ones with 25% uh, of organic matter so that mix helped me in the zone that I am, that is a rainy zone. So other than that, I also try to apply certain uh, fungus that are beneficial symbiotic with the plants, like mycorrhizas, that you can find it online or buy it on, your, on certain uh, garden center. And that the uptake of nutrients by the plant. So following the instruction of the mycorrhiza, the, that will depend on the type of mycorrhiza that you buy. But that type of microorganism will help you with the nutrient uptake on the, of the plant on the soil. So that mycorrhiza, you can apply it in every type of soil, basically. The only thing that you need to be sure is the pH of the, of the soil. Certain uh, mycorrhiza uh, grow in a certain pH, specifically pH. So that's the only thing that you need to be aware when you are applying the mycorrhiza to, 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 to the soil of the trees. So basically that would is, is the thing that I would do with my, my soil mixing. And also, uh, depending on the species of the tree that I'm working is the type of mixing of the soil that I will apply. So, so we're, we're kind of in an arid climate here, not too much humidity. So, so in order, if that's the case, I will use a soil that retain uh, humidity a so little what bit. Kind of, what kind of organic material do you use? So I, I use Promix. I don't know if you can find this here. Is like you can find it on Home Depot or Garden Center. So, in, if, this, if this is the case here, I will use a 50-50% in the mixing soil. So, 50% lava rock or any rock that you can mix with the organic matter. Yep. So that will depend on the species that you are applying moss. I know that moss give it like a, a good looking to the tree. So 
in some trees I will only put moss if I'm going to an exhibition or something like that that is some some days only but yeah if you put moss on on top of the soil it will help the soil to get more humidity and then if you have all the soil uh, covered by moss you can have a problem with fungus eventually so I would recommend you can have uh, fungus in certain trees but not covering all the ground but I would prefer to put only moss when you are uh, in an exhibition or if you have a display in, in your garden so but in case that you uh, leave the moss covering your 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 hold the soil so I will be uh, taking more uh, I will be uh, watering less the tree because since it will retain more humidity, I will uh, remove watering more the tree to. So in that case, it can help you to 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 preserve humidity in the soil. So that will depend on the species and the part that you live. Just be careful not to overwater. Yeah. What? You can do that. Okay. So I start by here. This is not my tree, but okay. I have bought. And uh, he's actually here. Okay. And you probably know him. He's one of the best. The guy that knows most about a lot of stuff about bonsai. Yeah. I've been here. Uh, I, I, I spent a lot of time on, on, with bonsai yeah. for, for years and years. Yeah. But now I'm old and, and, and I'm not even able to sometimes do the right thing. Okay. So he helps me. So he brought this me today. Okay. Uh, so, but go ahead and tell me what you think about it. Yeah. And if, you know, if, if people want to see it, that's fine. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Tell me what you think about it. So, first, I will select which wall will be the front of the tree. So, okay, go ahead. Take, a, take, take your time. I used to be in charge of the, cab, the club here. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is years and years ago. Yeah. Okay. So, I see that it's a, a big a big tree mm -hmm. and a tiny trunk. Right. So yeah, right. in order to give a character to a tree like this one, yeah. you can uh, kill uh, certain branches mm -hmm. to uh, make some dead wood and jeans like this one right, right. to give certain character to the tree. Uh -huh. okay. So I would love to, you, you will have two, uh, uh, many options here, like for example, you can, with, with raffia, this trunk can bend a little bit and give a little movement. Okay. So if you put raffia and bend, you can yeah. bend in, in a specific uh, position, so you can make a curve here to use the branch and then give certain character to this tree. Yeah. Another option would be like 
uh, doing a small tree, like, for example, like, like here, like here. And what you can do here is to uh, wire some branches. We can position those branches. And then what we can do is uh, removing the life from here and do like a little uh, gene in the apex. So in that way, we can do a gene here. The branches that we don't utilize in this uh, style, we can kill it and do genes also. And do what? Uh, you can do genes with the branches that left that in, the, in this design. So if there's some branches that is, are not going to be used, so in order that they are going to not be used in the design, you can convert it into genes. So that's the, the two options that I see. Oh, yeah, also, you can, if you uh, put raffia also, uh -huh. you can bend it and you can create like a semi cascade or a, a, a tree that moves in this direction. Okay. So you eliminate that straight line that is in this position. So one option, like uh, using more or less like this as a front. Mm -hmm. So you can move branches and you can have apex here. Mm -hmm. And then you can have uh, dead wood in this part here uh -huh. okay. to give more character to the tree. Yeah. Another, another uh, option if, if you like a uh, big trees, so you can remove all this part here, cre create a gene in these lower branches and then you can wire this branch and position it and at this, uh, this height of the tree you can have a, still have a, a good uh, looking tree by wiring th these branches and position it. So by you can have a good uh, initial shape of the, of the tree. That's, uh, I would say that's the, the first viable option doing a big tree, okay. removing all this, creating a little gene with this one, and selecting some branches and start wiring and lowering. So in this case, this will be the main branch. And then you can clean all these branches, remove the ones that you are not gonna use, and... I don't wanna change anything here yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. But uh, because I just just seen them for the first day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I, I'm, I'm hearing you. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we really need something down here. <laughs> yeah, in this case, if you create, a, if you uh, create a big tree, so here you can create a a gene like this one. Yeah. Also, you can connect this gene with this one creating a shari here. Okay. So creating a shari to connect this gene with this gene will give a little bit character in this part of the trunk. Now, you need to have that, so, uh, because this is like a straight line. So if you do that, you give a more character to the trunk, and then the straight line can be uh, uh, How do I say? You can uh, move branches in order to disappear that straight line. So if you do this and put some branches uh, in front of that line, you can. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, my advice will be that. Okay. Thank you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, no, this is a pleasure for me. I, I like to work with bonsai, I like to help people, I like to share knowledge, I like to to work on trees. That's my my life is like. Thank you. Okay, thank you.
Hi, hi. Yeah. So it's kind of like the same thing. What do I cut out before I repot this thing? I don't so, know where to start. Okay. So if you want to repot this tree, I will uh, wait until all the flowering goes away. Like if you uh, change and transplant, repot this tree with the flowering, it will get hurt. Like some branches will die because you are removing roots and they're in a flowering step. So in order to do a repot in this stage, I will deflate all the, all the leaf and the flowers. So when you repot and cut uh, roots, the tree doesn't get hurt and that doesn't get stressful by the repotting uh, change. So one of the, uh, some, uh, the majority of the flowers leaves to create a balance between uh, removing roots from the, from the soil. And then you can have a success, successful uh, repotting. So if you are gonna repot this, I would say that you prune the, the, the branches that you know that you are not gonna use in the design that will help you to create a balance and um, uh, flowers right. to create that balance. And then when you finish repotting the tree, you can put it in a shade and watering and you can fertilize with uh, organic fertilizer that are good for Bungavilia. I also use, uh, for flowering on Bungavillias, I also use orchid fertilizer oh, yeah. okay. that will help me to create a super bloom on, on these uh, types of... Would you get rid of this because it's going straight up? So in this case, which, which is your front of this um, tree? I was thinking the front, see this is going this way, it's almost like a pigeon. So. See that's, that's what I can't decide. I like this. But it's very flat. But I see the movement. Yeah. So, so I need help. Yeah. I can't decide. <laughs> the, this part is looking good. Uh, I like this part yeah, here. Part. Yeah. Okay. The only problem here is that from here to here, the tree is going back here yeah, in this part. Yeah. So can you can try to to move it like this to see if. if this uh, fit well in the pot that you are gonna be reporting it. Okay. Another way would be like uh, playing with the angles to see if you can find a new angle. Okay. So this angle here is very uh, is very interesting for me since you have a good base here, yeah. and then starting from here you got this movement here and you finish here. So in this part, a little bit for the front, and then here you can create a the ramification here, you can create ramification here, and then here, and then here, and create the apex here. And this is not much of a problem here? No, in this case not, because you will create the apex here, you will uh, put ramification over, all over here. So in this case, this branch that is growing here can help you to... to so if you left this uh, uh, shooting here and let develop it, you can uh, wire it and position it like over here. Okay. And in this position, you will... Uh, that part. But here, if you w look the tree in this part, you can uh, the branches are in position almost. Like you can watch and clean all this part here, and then you can start by positioning these branches. You can do the same here, and you will have your third branch, second branch here. So over there. This you will uh, wire a little bit, and this one too, 
and here you do the same. What the only thing that I will cut will be this part. I say science. It no is uh, so this is doesn't look good having this straight. As this is uh, as the main trunk, and this like a, a secondary trunk for so saying like that. But that uh, playing the so my design of this. So you can you can mark the front like will be like here. Can I cut it here? So just to you to, to So more or less this this is a, a good front. It's my advice you can uh, do whatever. But yeah, it's a nice tree. It's a very looking good tree. Question on this. How much more do I have to cut it down? Just like it's still yeah. Too, bush, too leggy. So. This is your front. Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> in this case, I the the thing that I will do will be like selecting the branches that are my design. That I suppose that all, all the branches are the, in the design. So I will remove this one, this one. So to cut it back, I will go to it, it last uh, shoot. Like, for example, if you, if you want to. Uh, no. Let me see. Okay. For example, if you want to to go back body, what you could do if to go to the last uh, shoot that have the branch. In this case, for example, cutting here. So cutting here will help to develop this one, but will uh, will promote shoot over here. So if you go all the t all, all around the tree, pruning the tree like going to the last branch inside the ramification, you will promote that aggressive uh, back body. So if you prune the tree, you can prune it, and you can then fertilize the tree to promote that aggressive uh, back body in the next uh, growing season of the tree. So that would be my my advice in terms of back boring the tree. Okay. And should I cut this since it's almost vertical? Yeah. It's kind yeah. of out of place, right? Yeah. If, if, if you see, there's some shoots in the branch. So if you cut this one, you can't promote a shoot over here that can help you to to cover this part. Uh, it's the, uh, I think it's the same as Brazilian pepper tree, but I was told it was Peruvian pepper tree. It's a pepper tree. Yeah. Yeah, California. California yeah. Ones yeah. Ones yeah. So it's yeah. When I look around, it's Brazilian pepper tree. Yeah. But well, yeah, that will be a good technique to back burning. So you can go far to the last branch or shoot that have the branch. So in that way, you ensure that the flow of nutrients is still going, and that will help you to back body. Where would I make the apex? So, yeah, you can bring this with wire to the front. I see. A little bit, like, like here. And here, you can, uh, with the ramification that developed here, you can still uh, uh, developing in this part here. If you move this here and then you you move and down down those look look with this change like lowering these two branches and the apex here. So the the tree take more character.
So if you only want to grow it as a natural design, so what you can do is using some tensor from here with wire to the, and just let and then you can still by uh, cutting and pruning, like growing and pruning, growing and pruning. So in order to create uh, a dense ramification. Yeah, it's, it's a very easy grower. I cut and then it grows again. Yeah, so yeah. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, how do you do? Hi, hi. I have this is an old demo tree. Okay. About eight, ten years old. And, uh, I had it about six years. Okay. The main problem to me is it's a very heavy. Okay. Yeah, I want. I've always wanted to learn about root pruning. Okay. And uh, the, the other thing is, of course, there's too much up here. I think I need advice on how to thin it. Okay. So, which one is is the front? Your front is this one. I think so. Yeah. You got okay. an extra branch here. Yeah. So. I got a pen. So. Depending of, of of what is your desire with the with the tree, if if lowering his uh, his size, you can cut it a little bit more lower uh, to promote those shoots to grow and design a lower tree. That could be a possibility. For example, if if you can if you want to drive Convert this in a smaller tree. You can cut it, like let's say here, or also here, oh. and this one by here. And then all these children that are developing here will start to grow as this, and then you can design a double trunk, uh, smaller, and you can. Uh, you will not have to deal with all of this. So, in that, a shorter tree with a good base. You had all these little ones coming out. Yeah. I cut them off this afternoon. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's not good. Huh? Yeah, yeah. What about if I just. Yeah, you can also. It's almost the same size. Yeah, you can also uh, do this again like lowering the main branch uh -huh. and once you uh, position the main branches you can do uh, a pruning just to to do a natural design of, on the tree so in that way you will not be uh, wiring all the branches like by you will have a, a, a lower canopy and a, a broom design Take some of these extra branches out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Instance. Yeah. For example, in this case, you can cut this one here oh, and, uh, and lower here, or you can put a, a wire to position it here, and then lowering all the branches, open the tree. Oh, so, so it doesn't go if, straight up. Yeah. If you open the tree, you will have a uh, a more, uh, more open canopy. Yeah, so. my, we, we put these wires before one of my old teachers. Okay. And I could do that again. Yeah, you could, you, you could also do that with all oh. this one. So by, 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 by doing this to these branches, you can lower it, and then you can start pruning, oh, yeah. and you will have canopy. So in this case, is that the case? You will 
need to remove this one, these ones. Yeah. Yeah. What about putting the roots? So can I cut the roots in half? The main thing I, it's very heavy, you know, you can try to pick it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in this case uh, I see that root system. So what I do is in the when I gonna be, when you go to report this tree, so you can prune all the 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 stronger roots that are in the soil inside the soil. Oh. So only pruning the stronger roots and leaving the fine ones. The fine ones. Yeah, because the fine ones are the the ones that uh, bring the nutrients and uptake the water for the tree. So removing all the the stronger uh, roots inside. When you are gonna report in the tree. We leave this part up alone? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I saw I like the looks of those. Yeah. So roots like this one that are inside the soil when you are gonna report in the tree. This type of fruit you can remove it. Oh good. So you will only leave the, the fine ones inside the, the, the root system of the on the tree. But this is the right season too, and when it's hot, that's what I heard. Yeah. The repot ficus when it's hot. Yeah. When it's warm. It's good, yeah. Warmer. They they like uh, warmer temperatures. So yeah, I will start by lowering the branches, then pruning the 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 cut, and then removing all the branches that are not necessary, like this one, this one. All the branches that are inside the oh, yeah, huh? the main branches, you can remove it like these ones here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that. Uh, I don't think it's been trimmed for a couple of years. Yes. Uh, all these stupid branches, you know. Yeah. That's, it looks like bush practically. Yeah. So maybe. A, I repot it first and then try to. Yeah, you can do that. But also you can clean then the whole uh, the whole uh, branches that you are sure that you are not gonna use, oh, yeah. and then repot it. So, otherwise, we kind of yeah. you want a drastically smaller tree. You can lower the trees. Uh, leaving this trunk more higher than this one to create a, a good double trunk. Yeah, that, here's one here. Yeah. Suppose that were to go. Yeah, also if you, are, if you want, you can do a air layering here and here and you take away two, three trees in total. Oh yeah, that, um, I've never tried the air layering. Just this is a speck of moss in the... Yeah, you, you go inside the, this part around and yeah, put yeah. hormones and moss and then... That's another idea. Yeah. I sort of like the idea of getting rid of this whole, this whole top here. Yeah. Damn it, that's... Yeah. Well, thanks for the ideas. And oh, you're maybe welcome. Cut this down, too. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing, if you lower it, you will have a large canopy with a good base. And then if you report a thin pot, the, ba the base will look nice and the canopy will be uh, good. Like, put in the pot half this deep? Uh, so, I think so. Yeah, you, you will need to eventually uh, report. A uh, smaller uh, pot, the tree the next year in a oh, smaller nice pot, yeah. Well, and then you will be lowering the, the soil on the tree, and then when you got the tree in a pot like this, you can transfer it into a lower and large uh, bonsai pot that can compense the size of the canopy and Good. can expose the nevari, this, this part, the root system. Almost the same. Yeah. 
is the ones that go down the soil. Yeah. Cut them off. Yeah. I better do that at home. Yeah. Because it make a big mess. You know, you know, is it Pedro Morales? Yeah. You work with him as nursery? Yeah, that's my, 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 my mentor. He's a, I got one of his trees. He, he demonstrated a California juniper up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got that at home. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bought it at an auction. Good. Well, thank you for the always for Oh, you. you're welcome. I, uh, if you any, if you need anything more, tell me. Just tell me. Okay, I, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Boom. So. That's it. Oh. It's a big tree. So yeah. So tell me what, what have you been thinking? So the front, the widest nabari is right here in the front. Okay. Oh, I probably need a root graft. Stuff okay. In the back. Just yeah. So this is for sure the back. Yeah. The only problem is four main trunks. Yeah. So do we remove one trunk or do I grow one more route? I hope so. That's that's good. That's yeah. So this was there. This was there. Yeah. Two years ago, so no full or nothing. So this is just that grew up a lot. It's it's ten years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I got this from Bob Presley. It was about this big. You see the trap here? I can't. Yeah, he shot. So. But uh, I wasn't gonna use this at all. So. That we have. If you <laughs> the better option would be if you if you have the side. Yeah. Yeah. So science there's uh, no other tongue like this here. You can of doing a multiple trunk. You can like leave a branch like this one okay. growing full okay. in order to get a, a thick branches. Okay. Like if you can uh, do something like this one okay. will be a shape and a good form in tapering here to, to create a, a canopy on this tree. So if you want to work only with one trunk, I will I will go definitely with with this one. Okay. And removing all the the, the all the other ones. Yeah. Okay. So once you got select which one of those three. Okay. So in this case, I would love to use this one since you. Get a little movement here. Okay. In this. So maybe with wires you can bring it a little bit to this side, and you can develop a nice structure there. Okay. But I like the idea of multiple trunks. It looks uh, good. Yeah. Good. On this type, uh, multiple trunks yeah. look very nice. So my advice: you have. Another option, if you have another uh, netty folder like this one, uh -huh. you can try to to put it like the, the closer to here uh -huh. and do like a fusion of the trunks. Okay. So that will be an option to... to like an approach graph? Yeah. That have you seen that? Because uh, I was thinking of doing a bore. Can you do a drill? Yeah. Drill it? And then use a counter, like a counter bore, yeah. and then just sink it in. Yeah, you you can. But, but does that work on drill poorly? You can try it. Yeah. Does it work? Have you? Uh, I, I have people that work to that and has uh, high success rate. Yeah. No, you're right. So it oh, drastically works on. Uh, Doing grafting and things like that. So I'm tempted because I, you know, I see that they do with Japanese people. They yeah. Bore a hole yeah. And then they cut and they just. Yeah. 
just kind of yeah i yeah definitely i have some i have some friends that have do that with uh tyler bark fingers and also what they do is that let's say that this part to change from here to here so i take another try to grab here and then here, but the this living with the part in another part and then you can move it and you can be sure that the uh, okay. so that do that but in a more uh, safely way to do that yeah and you, it's too nice i mean i, I look yeah. at the truck, i'm like yeah it's, it's such a waste to cut that yeah and also if you got uh, another tree like this one huh? this size you can and then just move it uh, yeah a little bit the cambium here <laughs> on both and put some moss and some hormones here <laughs> if you that you can uh, put it here when you repot the tree you put the other tree here and do that stuff of the cambium and the moss you, you will have a higher uh, success rate of fusioning another trunk here and that will be good i have a tree ready so that will be good okay so then you will stop structure yeah okay there's another guy in the class one i'm trying to keep growing it i'm like you know i never seen anything yeah. this big in a while yeah. you know what cuz everybody has their fully like this size yeah nothing than the bar like that so uh, i i i will try to show you a picture of a tree that is um that i think is the idea that you want to to represent okay. that but is a good one so I'll keep keep doing the things that they're all gone now but yeah i if, if that it was mine i would do for for another yeah. position it up then i will take it down yeah, yeah. to start developing the the structure okay. yeah i didn't want to interrupt him when he that's right okay. all right so he still has yeah. he talked to Jim already Uh, did you do Jim already? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I told him do me last so everybody gets. Uh, oh, right. I brought small pieces here. So. Yeah. so is this the same thing as that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got this from Bob Presley. It was about this big, and I cut it down. I made about four or five trees out of it. I kept the base. <laughs> so what could I do to to get more? Yo. Rich. Yeah, oh, thank you. Ah, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. What can I do to get more base? So, I would say if you want to to get more base, you, you can, know more roots. Yeah. 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 A bar, more, yeah. More roots. You can try to do like an air layering, but in the base here, like you can uh, remove and and go to the straight to the cambium in certain part that you want root to develop so you do that and you do the same as so you, you you cut it and split it no so you you remove the the the, the to the cambium okay and then you can apply uh, hormones oh. and then you cover it with moss and you can do all around this so eventually the roots gonna the roots be start of the to, oh, yeah okay same so, yeah. as just in this in the base in the part that you want to okay. develop a roots you can do that and this type of ficus will, will uh, take off like yeah that. okay so also if you put it in a bigger pot yeah and do that and cover it by right so up from, to there yeah i'll do that that will help to develop okay. so my advice and yeah. i was trying to to develop a yeah, yeah, system no i will put it in a big yeah. Pot. Yeah. to keep the roots 
did have it, I had it in a flat. Okay. I was growing it in a flat. Yeah. I just put it in there in February. Okay. Okay. Because I was I moved, so I had a okay. Downsize a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So what I will do is put it in a large right, uh, yeah. yeah. thicker one, and then doing the all the way around. Yeah. And then cover it by by good soil until this position more or less like this. So that will help you to to produce and develop some roots. Is this a good time to do it? So over there, yeah, yeah, here. This is our hottest. Yeah. Time, so. so it will be good. Till about September, October. Yeah, you can. I, I would say that you can do it. Okay. Yeah. So ficus love. Uh, the heat. Yeah. So and root system in ficus develop uh, good with heat. With, with so. Okay. I will. I will. I will do that. Okay. Anything you see, I should do to me. So. We, I do, we, everything that was going, you know, crisscrossing, I, I cut out. Okay. And then I was laying it down. I just took the wire off today. Wait, wait, which it. one is your front? Uh, I I think I picked this front. This one. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's a nice uh, nice position for the front of the tree. So what I, uh, what I will do is to open spaces in the tree. Yeah. So as you see, you have here uh, uh, what Is it will be... Is good time to defoliate? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. That's new, new way to go about defoliate it, then I'll go in there and pick my Yeah, branches. Yeah, okay. it's more easy to see yeah. the, the structure the of the ramification. The structure of the tree. Okay. So you can defoliate the, the whole tree yeah. and then you can select. So my you can use also this branch and bring it to the front. Okay. use this as the yeah, you see primary. I took the wire off. Yeah. These were straight up and I brought them down. Yeah. I, I had wire on that one too. They were, yeah. they were, <laughs> they had some leftover. Right there. Yeah. So, I will position in this branch here and okay. then I will lower this one. You lower them all down? Yeah. So, get it like in a fan. Yeah. So, in this case, you will have branch here. Right. This the movement is going yeah, like like this, like like a C. Is that what you like? Yeah. Here's yeah. Right. And it's and like pitch bone. And I like that the movement of this branch. Okay. This branch is the one that gives movement here. So I will do my apex here. Okay. So in that this movement finish here. So this whole part I will down a little bit. I will create an open okay, spaces so these, here and this, this yeah. Okay. Okay. So oh, I still this, got wire in there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this one will be my apex. Okay. So doing that, finishing here, and also the opening spaces will right. give a, a good aesthetics to the tree. Okay. Right. Okay, well, and just a quick question on this. Yeah, yeah. What happened is this year it died back. It was doing really well. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is going to put it in a bigger container. So, yeah. Feed it. And then That's a problem with Bungavillias that okay. they also go die back with any reason. Okay. Yeah. So that's something that you can find yeah, in nature. Yeah, that's nice and bushy. So yeah. This year, look at everything died. I mean, I What's cut it. <laughs> so will be several factors that that can be problem with the root system uh, by fungus by high humidity typically the die back is because of fungus in the in the roots so if your root system is not working well it's gonna be uh, going to the easiest part of the plant so the the the, the branches that are far or that are more stronger of the plant will become to die. It's going to give uh, nutrients and okay. and vitamins to the to the newest one to the beloved, since there's no good root system. So are very vulnerable to to fungus and to high humidity problems. It's good to always be uh, have a, a, a good soil mix that can uh, 
throw away all the excess of water and humidity. So in this case, I would use a, a, a soil with more, uh, more. Uh, this is pumice. Yeah. I mean, uh, Akadama lava rock. Yeah. So I, I will use more, more lava rock. More lava rock. Yeah, more lava rock and less pumice. Okay. I think this is a 2060 uh, 20, 40, 60 mix. Okay. 40, 60 mix. I so, buy it from David June. Okay. It's already in the bag. So I will put it in a more lava yeah, rock soil mix. Six, okay. uh, I will uh, fertilize. Uh, I like to use organic fertilizer. And also for a super bloom, I will use orchid fertilizer. That will help me to, to the flowering uh, part. Uh, fertilizers such as the one that are based on fish uh, are good. Uh, uh, I have uh, been using it for, for Bunga Villas and they respond good. So if you put this tree in a bigger pot and fertilize it and prune all the dead and clean the trunk, you can have a, a, a better development of the tree. Yeah, it did push out really well last year, and then. So then always year. remember to put it in a in a place that the sun can get oh, directly. Yeah, it's in, it's in um, and it gets watered a lot. Yeah. So. Okay, thank you. Okay, any more questions for Christopher? Okay. And then uh, Tom, you want to start the raffle? Yeah, we're gonna start the raffle, sir.